Ông quay cho. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. And for this session, the chamber will hear the testimony of a civil party. 2TCCP238. And uh, Councillor Kong Sum On, you may proceed. Kong Sum On, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a brief observation regarding the civil party Om Supani. During her testimony, I tried not to interrupt and that she uh, put the questions to the accuser through Mr. Uh, President. I have heard repeatedly the word that uh, she used and she referred to the accused as uh, the criminals. And I think that leads to confusion even at uh, this stage that the, my client, Mr. Kirsten Pon has found guilty in another judgment. The judgment is being appealed against. For that reason, to refer to my client as a criminal is a, a misunderstanding. It's, a, it's prejudicial. And for that reason, I'm grateful if uh, your honor strike of that word or advice other civil parties when they refer to the accused they should not refer to them as criminals thank you mr president president thank you for your very good observation counsel for case and paul court officer could you usher the civil party to TCCP 238 into the courtroom? La partie civile TCCP 238 dans le prétoire. President, good morning, Madame Civil Party. What is your name? Bonjour. Comment vous nommez-vous? Civil Party. My name is Chu Kam Long. Je me nomme Chu Kam Long. President, thank you, Madame Chu Kam Long. We would like to give you some. Advice regarding the proceeding with your testimony. Your voice will go through 
a system which will be interpreted into other languages of the EECCC, and that is a necessary uh, proceeding. For that reason, before you respond, please uh, look at the tip of the uh, microphone in front of you. When the light is red, then it is operational and your voice will go through the system and the interpreters can interpret your testimony into other languages. Question, when were you born? Answer, in the document, uh, that was published long Dans time ago in the search for the truth in uh, that magazine, and it was uh, republished in 2010. Question, can you recall uh, when you were born? Question, vous souvenez-vous de quand vous êtes né? Please uh, respond to my question. When were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born in 1951. Je suis né en 1951. Thank you. Je vous remercie. Question. Question. Where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. My birthplace. Je suis né during the Sankum Rihnijum was Lekbo Commune, Tramco District, Takao Province, and before 1975, I lived to the west of Lekbo Market in Phnom Penh. President, I'm asking the place that you were born, not the place where you uh, uh, lived. You could not uh, be born uh, through different places. So you were born in uh, Tramco District, Takao Province, am I correct? Answer. Réponse. The first five years I was at Tnong Rolung village, Lake Bo Commune, Tramcock District. Question. Where is your current address? President, where is your address? Answer. Réponse. It remains the same at Tnong Rolung village, Lake Bo Commune, Tramcock District, Takao Province. Question from 17 April 1975 to 6 January 79. Where did you live and what did you do? Answer. After the liberation, in, in 1979, President interrupted. I meant before that, that is from the 17th April 1975 to the 6th January 1979, which is simply referred to as the uh, Pol Pot regime. Where did you live during the Pol Pot regime? Answer. During the Pol Pot and Khmer Rouge, Rachim, I lived in the same Pol -Pol, commune and village in Ligbo Commune, Tramco District, and Takao Province. Question: What did you do at the time? Question: Que faisiez-vous à l'époque? Answer: I did uh, various things in a mobile uh, unit. Je Initially, I was assigned to uh, work in the rice fields to transplant seedlings and to harvest rice. Question, what is your father's name? Answer, my father is Chu Tum and my mother is Pan Lum. Question, and your husband's names and how many children do you have all together? Answer, my Husband named Sus Dum, alias Noon. He was a military medic, and that was during the Lona regime. And before Lonor. that, during the San Comrinium, he was a policeman. Question How many policier. children do you have? Question Combien d'enfants avez-vous avec lui? Answer. Combien d'enfants avez-vous? 
réponse. My eldest child died and Mon I néné he had four uh, children that I raised and when I left Phnom Penh I was three months pregnant. Phnom Penh, j'étais enceinte de trois mois. President, President. Madame Chukum Lon, as a Madame civil party, you advise that uh, towards the end of your testimony, you are given an opportunity to make a statement of impact on the sufferings that you, that, uh, you suffered during the Democratic Cambodia regime, if you wish to do so. In pursuit to Rule 91b of the ECCC en Internet Rule, the lead co-lawyers for civil parties is given the floor first to question the civil party to Kim Lon. And the time, the combined time for the prosecution and the lead co-lawyers for civil party is one day. Au co-avocat pour les parties civiles est de un jour. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, President. Bonjour, Madame la partie civile. Good morning, Madame Civil Party. Vous avez indiqué au Président que vous you étiez que vous étiez à Lebo entre that you lived in le 17 avril 60, entre avril 75 et, et 79. Ma première From question est la suivante. Quand êtes-vous arrivé à Tram Kok In fact, uh, it took me 22 days to walk from Phnom Penh to Ong Ta Saum. We were received by Khmer Rouge and settled in Pote Saum, to the west of Ong Ta Saum Market. It's about two kilometers west of Ong Ta Saum Market. And at that time, we were not assigned to engage in any work yet. They would uh, monitor us on first. En lieu. Je vous remercie. Thank avec you. Qui, avec quel membre de votre famille êtes-vous arrivé à Tramcock? Members of your family accompanied you to Tramcock. I went to Tramco with my father, my elder brother, and my elder, my younger brother, and my other brother with his children. Pouvez-vous préciser le nombre Could you please specify the number of children who belong to the brother who traveled with you? He had four children, two sons and two uh, daughters. Je vous remercie. Avez-vous également you, voyagé avec votre mari? Did you also travel with your husband? Yes, I did. Oui, and my father was elderly, so was my mother, and we traveled together. Mon père et ma mère. Nous avons voyagé ensemble. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure au président euh, avoir élevé quatre enfants. That you Ces enfants faisaient-ils également partie du voyage et sont-ils arrivés à Tramcock avec vous Did the children travel and did they arrive at Tramcock with you Yes, they did. Oui, they went together. Tous ensemble. Étiez-vous vous-même dans une situation you personnelle particulière lorsque vous êtes arrivé à Tramcock Situation when you arrived at Tramcock. It took us uh, uh, more than 20 days to reach that location and we ran out of uh, rice when we arrived. 
and you were uh, given the, some rice with the corns to mix uh, with the rice and it was very hard to eat très dur and then we had a problem with our uh, stomach from Ensuite, eating uh, that corn I still have uh, my stomach problem now my husband was asked to build a shelter where new people would uh, accommodate, would live there. It was to the south of uh, the commune office. He spent two months there Il and the 17 every people from Phnom Penh were put to Et the north in those uh, series of huts. Dans and after de, that, de my cabane. husband was arrested. Cela, Mon mari a été he was taken at night time. Il a été arrêté pendant la nuit. Je vous remercie, Madame la Partie Civile. Vous avez Thank évoqué you, Madame Civil Party. le terme de peuple nouveau. You just talked euh, about new people. Vous et votre famille considérée comme your family euh, peuple considered nouveau. as quote unquote new people. Yes. We were considered oui, new people, people and we did not have uh, a right to gather or to walk réunir, freely for the best people. They had a uh, good rice to eat. As for us, we did not have uh, bon the same uh, rice. One night when my husband nuit, was taken at 9 p.m., in fact, they came to call him to go for a Ils study session, and I protested why there was such a study session or meeting at 9 o'clock at night. But uh, I was told that the vet called him to go et for that study session. So he put on his shirt. À cette séance, il a donc, il s'est donc vêtu. And de he did not wear his uh, trousers because he was told it was a, a quick uh, meeting, so he wore uh, his scarf and he went with them. Réunion qui devait se tenir vite, il a juste mis une écharpe et il est parti avec eux. Je vous, je vous remercie, Madame la Partie civile. Thank you, Madame Civil Party. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la cour Can you please tell the court ce qui s'est passé après What happened afterwards Après l'arrestation de votre mari After the euh, arrest of your husband passé? What occurred? After the arrest of my husband, Après de mon mari, and in fact, when they took him away, I, I peeped. He was walked to the west direction. En fait, au moment où ils l'ont arrêté, j'ai regardé. And his mother also peeped and saw they used a rope to tie his hands. Une corde pour Behind his back. Ses mains derrière le dos. And in fact, uh, her, his parents were the best people, and I asked en fait, them for help. But base, he could not uh, help him, even if he was his aide, biological son. Quoi qu fût, because at that time, everybody minded his or her own business. Parce so they threw him away. And about one and a half hours later, enlevé. or maybe two hours, then I heard three gunshots. The three militia who came to attack him Les was the village chief and the commune militia, and they had a, a rifle. Chefs, and next day, I was sent out from the north of the commune office to another unit in another village to the south of a Ligbo commune office. And I was asked to do all kinds of work, hard work indeed. Avez-vous par la suite eu des informations that, did you receive uh, any information regarding your husband's fate? The information that I received was from a few best people who told me that night that my husband was 
killed behind Ligbo Pagoda, that is to the west of Pagoda in a forest in that area. I received that news and my parents-in-law could not save their son. They became very emotional. Later on, they became sick and died. So uh, I just like to repeat, I received the information that my husband uh, was arrested. And I was uh, sent to work to the south of the commune office to engage in rice harvest. And I, in fact, just delivered my baby seven weeks after delivery. And I had to harvest the rice in the field near the house, and then I had to come back to the house to breastfeed my baby. And the best people were not asked to harvest the rice. And they ordered me to work hard as my husband was taken away and killed. There was a midwife in the village However, there was no proper hospital and there was no a proper medicine to, to give to me during my child de delivery. Je vous remercie, Madame la Partie Civile. Thank Juste you, Madame Civil par souci de clarté, et c'est peut-être un, un problème de, de traduction, avez-vous, euh, étiez-vous présente lors de l'arrestation de votre mari Present during the arrest of your husband. Yes, I was there. We were uh, sleeping together, and in fact, I protested not to uh, let him go because it was already nine o'clock at night. And I said that the meeting already ended at eight o'clock, but they refused, and they said that he needed to attend a meeting, which was a, a study session. And at that time, my baby uh, cried, and they shouted at me to look after the, the baby. So they took him away. And I, in fact, asked them, because the meeting had already ended, as it uh, started at uh, 6.30 and ended at around 8, but they came to take him around 9 o'clock at night. But in fact, he did not attend any study uh, session. He was sent to be killed. And after the fall of the regime, I went to look at the burial site where he was buried. My life was so pitiful. Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. Why was your husband arrested? The reason was that he was a civil uh, public servant since the Sankum Rifnium, and he also had a rank, and they actually searched uh, a pack of uh, clothing that we had, and the shirt that he wore had a, a photo or an ID card with his rank. And for that reason, he was taken away for that study session. Je vous remercie, Madame la Partie Civile. Vous avez Thank indiqué you, dans votre audition un peu plus un peu plus tôt que vous étiez enceinte. À l'époque, je voudrais you maintenant vous poser une série de questions sur euh, time, sur l'enfant qui, qui est né à Tramcock et puis sur les enfants dont vous avez parlé et qui sont arrivés avec vous et votre famille à Tramcock. Well euh, vous avez brièvement évoqué votre, euh, votre accouchement. Est-ce que une fois que vous avez accouché, vous avez pris vous-même soin de votre enfant uh, I took care only of the youngest baby because the other children who, whose age were 10, 12, and 14, they were put in through a, a, a unit. 
avait été placé dans une unité. I only took care of Donc the, je ne me suis occupé but because du bébé. I did not have enough food Mais parce to que eat. je n'avais pas suffisamment à manger. In fact, at the beginning, we were only given en fait, uh, corn début, to eat. On ne nous donnait que And, du maïs. Uh, later on, I cannot remember suite, the month, but it was still in 1975. We were asked to eat uh, communally. And my baby did not have enough to eat, so he something il, uh, to eat. Et il, uh, se nourrissait de ce qu'il trouvait because we actually lived at the site of a house belonging to uh, the best people I did not know maybe we were new people we had nous to live at the site of the best people so that uh, they could monitor us même. and because of insufficient food my baby uh, got sick pas suffisamment à manger, mon bébé est tombé malade. that's the youngest one but After I delivered my own malade. baby, et that baby uh, died. Ce bébé est mort. And she died because of the insufficient food. Parce qu'elle n'y avait pas suffisamment As for à my youngest baby, s'agissant du bébé le plus became jeune, became sick and also later died. Et lui aussi est mort. As for my elder children, they worked in a unit and one of them also died. Je vous remercie, Madame la Partie civile. Juste Thank encore you, une fois, par souci so de clarté, Once again, vous nous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que vous étiez arrivé à Tramcock avec quatre Tramcock enfants, que vous étiez vous-même enceinte. You si je comprends bien time, votre audition aujourd'hui, deux des enfants avec lesquels vous êtes arrivés sont décédés par manque de nourriture. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que, ce que vous avez dit aujourd'hui Do I have a proper understanding of what you were telling us today The one child died of insufficient food and another died while he was at a unit and that child's unit was located or worked to the east of a Tamok's house, not at Lekbo village with me. I was told my by elder siblings that uh, that uh, the son was uh, killed and maybe they embalmed him and he was buried under a coconut tree. Et avait été inhumé sous un cocotier. Je vous remercie. Donc vous avez un enfant en bas âge Therefore, you had qui est décédé par manque de nourriture et un enfant qui travaillait Uh, by lack of food, uh, sur un site and éloigné de votre propre lieu de résidence, et dont votre fils aîné vous a dit qu'il était décédé. J'ai bien compris. Away from your place of residence, and the elder son passed away. Is that correct? Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. It's true. C'est correct. Uh, the older died because he picked up. The potato to eat, he did not have enough food to fill his stomach, and then he went to pick up the potato, and he was killed. I was told uh, of the incident. I live in uh, Bihirkpo. I was told. Uh, At, during lunch time that uh, Wanara was killed déjeuner, because uh, Wanara, Wanara went to uproot uh, the, uh, the potato to eat and uh, Wanara was about uh, 13 batates. and 14 years old et at the time he was in child children unit. Je vous remercie Madame la Partie Civile pour finir Thank sur you, ce Madame chapitre Sibyl de vos enfants. Party. Vous avez donc indiqué être enceinte au moment où vous êtes arrivée à Tramcock. Vous avez donné naissance à un bébé là-bas. Est-ce que vous avez pu euh, vous occuper de ce, de ce bébé Answer. 
as Réponse. I told you, after I delivered the baby for 27 days, I went to work in the farm through harvest. And uh, when the baby cried, my mother would call me so that I could uh, breastfeed the baby. And after breastfeeding, I went back to the field to harvest uh, at 10.30. My mom would go to collect um, rice for me to eat. I did not go to eat. Je vous remercie. Thank you, madam. Je vous remercie, madame la partie civile. Je Thank vais maintenant you, vous poser euh, quelques questions sur les autres membres de votre famille que vous avez évoqués en début de l'audition, euh, et notamment votre frère qui est parti euh, de Phnom Penh et examination. qui est arrivé à Tramcock avec vous. Euh, Qu'est-il arrivé à, à ce frère Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la course qui lui est arrivé chamber what happened to that brother Answer, my elder brother not elder sister my elder brother name was Chu Teng he went together with me my elder sister she went uh, on national national road number 1 my elder brother Chu Teng he went with me he lived uh, in a village west of Angmarie and Lebo. And my sister lived in Unit 6 and I live in Unit 3 near the village hall. So we lived in different places. And as for my brother, his wife got uh, four children. Et la femme de mon frère avait quatre enfants. Qu'est-il arrivé à ce frère, Madame la Partie Civile? What happened to that brother, Madame Civil Party? No. Answer. Réponse. My elder brother, mon frère he aîné, worked in the uh, unit responsible for ploughing the field. His name was registered to be killed. Et, et son nom a été inscrit comme faisant partie des personnes qui ont été exécutées. That was in 1977. He was in a unit responsible for flapping the field in 1977. He tried to instigate his appeals to revolves and he pleaded to into Vietnam. He came to my parents and he said that he would go. Il a dit à mes parents qu'il voulait partir. And after a few days, he was arrested and killed at uh, Chomrong Mountain dans la in de an Chomrong other cooperative. Dans une autre coopérative. Est-ce que vous pouvez, merci Madame la Partie Civile, est-ce que you, vous Madame pouvez nous Civil donner Party. plus de précisions sur be, uh, son départ, comment uh, est-il parti uh, departure, au Vietnam, dites-vous, c'est votre témoignage aujourd'hui. Uh, comment est-il parti au Vietnam, avec qui, today. comment a-t-il réussi à s'échapper, et comment avez-vous su uh, qu'il a été exécuté, exécuté. exécuté En tout cas, c'est votre témoignage aujourd'hui. Answer. Réponse. I know about this because I was at home. There Je was parce que chez a based uh, woman. She cooked for uh, caterers. Une femme, uh, du peuple In de the la cuisine pour les cadres. Uh, K one was the uh, model cooperative uh, and this old lady uh, came to my house and told my mother that uh, your son uh, was arrested to be killed and at uh, K1 units uh, my uh, elder brother was uh, bitten and uh, was forced to drink uh, fish sauce 
And this old lady poisson. told me about this. I did not witness the, uh, the event. Moi, je ne pas vu de mes yeux. So those who pledged into Vietnam, uh, and my, um, Vietnam. among those, there was my brother, and my brother was arrested and bitten, and also he was forced to drink a fish sauce. Merci, Madame la Partie civile. Il ressort de votre audition que c'est ce que Madame vous avez Silver entendu. Hein, vous n'étiez pas, d'après ce que je comprends, vous n'avez pas assisté à l'exécution de votre, de votre frère. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire comment vous pensez qu'il s'est échappé Est-ce que vous avez des informations là-dessus sur la façon dont il est parti de Tramcock When he pled, he got a enfui, package of a meal, the flowers for repas, making uh, Khmer noodle, and then he got a bag of rice and a mat for sleeping in the forest. The old lady told me about this. Uh, she was in K1 cooperative. My brother I was told that my brother dit, uh, seized a, uh, a gun, a rifle from a militiaman, and then he fled uh, into arme, Vietnam. Pour au Vietnam. He was chased, Il a été and after that, uh, my brother was arrested uh, to be killed. Et exécuté. Merci, Madame la Partie civile. Vous avez évoqué you, tout à l'heure un autre Silver frère. Est-ce que vous pouvez brother. nous dire ce qui lui est arrivé Can you tell us what happened to him? Answer, as for my other elder brother, he was a soldier frère, in Dakar province, in Sub Barak. He was a soldier for a long time, and he got uh, quite high rank. When he reached at uh, Jampa Pagoda, he was uh, tightened up, and I was told that he was brought to a study session, and he got his gun and never returned. My mother was told that uh, he. Ce que a dit à ma mère. Rather, my uh, elder, my elder sibling-in-law told me that uh, he went to his village uh, place. C'est ma belle famille qui m'a dit qu'il était uh, allé dans ce village. My son, uh, the uh, the son of my elder pra uh, brother, he was a monk, and then he was asked to disrobe so that he could uh, carry a rifle to liberate uh, Takeo. And later on, my niece was known uh, that he was the son of an enemy. His father was a soldier with a quite high rank. And after he was this rope, he got married to a woman medic. And uh, my niece was known as the enemy, the son of an enemy. And then uh, it, it was said that uh, my niece's father was a soldier. On a dit que Mania c'était soldat. My my niece, my 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 nephew rather, my nephew uh, got married to a female medic, and the female medic was asked to disembowel uh, my nephew, so that uh, he, so that she could get a de Gaulle bladder. The Ma female uh, medic uh, could do this because she wanted to uh, 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 go to a higher rank. Thank you, de côté et, et vous posez des, des questions Thank sur you, votre Madame expérience Witness. lorsque vous étiez à Tramcock. I will move on and um, ask you about your experiences when you were in Tramcock. Circuler librement 
at Hamcock. Were you able to move about freely in Tramcock? An answer, we could uh, walk, we could move between 11 Nous to uh, 1 p.m. We could uh, move uh, during a lunch break. We could visit our Donc relatives. Uh, we had, we would have to return back uh, in time for Mais our work. Otherwise, we would be travail. blamed. Uh, we could move uh, secretly. Uh, that is what we called uh, the uh, prison without wall. En fait, nous dans we une prison live sans in mur. a prison without war, and uh, we got a heavy duty to perform nous as well. De à des très Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. Justement, pour, pour Thank rebondir you, sur votre Madame dernier. Civil Party. Euh, dernier témoignage et sur les, les conditions difficiles. So, Est-ce que vous pouvez décrire au tribunal les différents travaux, les différentes tâches you face? que vous avez effectuées à partir du moment où vous êtes arrivé à Tramcock Les difficultés que vous avez effectuées quand vous avez arrivé à Tramcock. Réponse. Answer. I remember all the duties, uh, the sufferings de, that I got. I was asked to transplant rice, and I could do whatever they asked me to do. Otherwise, I would be killed because I was Sinon, accused as a daughter of a, a former civil servant. I was a daughter of an enemy. I was asked to uh, pick up or to uncover the feces. I could do whatever I was asked to. Bref, dû faire I was asked to de also de dig de the canal, and I was also asked to uh, uh, transplant a plot, a six hectare plot of land uh, with only seven people I could do so because so I got experience Merci madame la partie civile vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure uh, un horaire précis vous avez dit 10h30 du soir si j'ai bien compris est-ce que vous pouvez uh, nous donner les horaires de travail que vous aviez PM. et est-ce que ces horaires ont changé Can you tell uh, us en fonction exactly des années was your uh, work schedule? Did that work si schedule change from one cour. year to the other? Just give the uh, chamber an idea of uh, Answer, Réponse. I got a small baby, that's why I could uh, excuse from work at 10.30, and for others, they would be excused from work at 11 or 11.30. So we would be asked to work anywhere, any cooperative, whenever they wanted us. Merci, Madame la Partie civile. Nous avons entendu you, un peu plus tôt ce matin, ou peut-être hier, Earlier le témoignage d'une autre partie civile qui a indiqué que lorsque les personnes étaient souffrantes ou fatiguées, elles pouvaient se, se reposer et ne pas travailler. Est-ce que c'était le cas pour vous Si elles étaient fatiguées ou fatiguées, elles ne pouvaient pas travailler. Est-ce que when I was asked to transplant and I uh, work, I was working very hard and I had to breastfeed my baby because we because I had to transplant in the fields and uh, I, they were afraid that I would collapse at that time and I was uh, released uh, to to get you know a massage on uh, my coin massage on my body and whenever we got our baby got sick Ensuite, and then we malade, would be accused as for my baby because uh, my baby was breastfed sometime he or she got diarrhea 
We would need to take care of the baby. As for me, I had to collect uh, rice or meal from a cooperative. And the day after, uh, we had to work again. And as for uh, ration, uh, it was very strict. If we did not uh, perform our work, we would not uh, get our meal. Pour rebondir sur cette dernière phrase, uh, si on ne travaillait pas, on ne pouvait pas manger. Est-ce que vous pouvez un petit peu expliquer à la cour uh, quelles étaient les les conséquences si jamais les personnes n'allaient pas travailler là vous indiquez que vous n'aviez pas à manger est-ce qu'il y avait d'autres conséquences Answer. réponse Although quoi, our baby was, uh, did not recover from uh, the disease yet, uh, we would need to go back to work to get a food ration. Donc, If we uh, had to rest malade, uh, for a very long time, uh, manger, we would also be taken away to be killed. Nous ne pouvions pas nous reposer trop longtemps, sinon nous aurions été exécutés. Merci, Madame le, euh, la partie civile. Ça fait, you, ça fait deux fois maintenant que vous parlez du fait de, en tout cas, que vous évoquez cette peur d'être exécuté si vous n'allez pas travailler. Est-ce que vous ne pouvez nous expliquer, expliquer à la, à la, à la cour euh, pourquoi vous aviez peur d'être exécuté were accused that uh, we were 17 April people, we were accused that we were lazy, we did nothing. That is why so they would need to smash all of us. And those who had relation or were linked to uh, civil servants in the past former regime, Uh, we would be killed since uh, we were 17 April people. We were afraid of being killed. That is why whenever we were asked to do our work, we uh, would try to perform them. Je vous remercie, Madame la Partie civile. Vous avez évoqué un peu plus Thank tôt you, dans votre audition le fait qu'après quelques, quelques mois après votre arrivée à Trump, vous avez commencé à manger de manière commune. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer comment euh, se passaient ces repas how the meals were distributed? Yeah, or how you eat? Answer, as for communal eating, we work hard in our field and the field was green, very green. And uh, the field sometimes look very golden and Parfois, as for communi communal eating, there was a port, a soup port in the middle of us and we could uh, have only a spoonful of uh, rice and we could not have enough meal. And we dare not to say anything, although uh, we were not full, if we uh, accidentally slipped, if the word slipped out of our tongue accidentally that uh, we were not full, uh, we would be taken away to be killed or to a study session. I would like to mention about two ladies. Uh, could I do so, Mr. President? President, you may answer to the question put by party. You may not uh, provide your answer beyond the question asked. Your answer should be uh, full enough so that uh, we understand. Merci.
Merci, madame la partie civile. J'ai d'autres questions you, madame, so euh, pour faire suite à ce que vous venez de, de nous I indiquer. Have other dans votre souvenir, est-ce que vous avez l'impression qu'à partir du moment où vous avez mangé de manière commune, le niveau de nourriture a décliné Est-ce que vous aviez moins à manger dans votre souvenir à partir du moment où vous avez mangé de façon commune Answer, the food ration was reduced. Sometimes when the, the rice uh, was not delivered, uh, our food ration would be reduced, uh, the grains of cereal would be reduced, and the gruel would, all, would in, be instead mixed with a potato, sweet potatoes in some on some occasions. When uh, the rice was not enough for all of us, so the gruel would be mixed with uh, sweet potatoes on some occasions. Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. Est-ce que, you, encore Madame une fois, dans votre souvenir, les, euh, le peuple nouveau avait la même nourriture the, the que le peuple de base, ou y avait-il une différence? Were they eating the same food? Answer. Base people ate together with us, but in their shelter or their house, they had their own rice. Mais les membres du peuple de base avaient du riz have additional meal in the morning. As for new people, we did not have such a latitude. We did not have extra rice. We could eat only in the communal eating. That is why some people complained that they did not have enough food, and as a result, they would be taken away to be killed. Merci, Madame la Partie civile. Pour être, pour être clair, est-ce que durant Madame ces années, Party, vous aviez faim In order to understand exactly what you were saying, were you often hungry? Were you always hungry after yeah, the meals? Réponse. He answered, yes, absolutely. I was oui, absolutely absolument. hungry. J'avais faim. Sometimes I would... J'avais très faim. Uh, I, I had... I had uh, a sarong with me, so I would Parfois, batter the sarong or skirts uh, with a base people uh, near, living close to uh, my place, and I would Donc cook uh, rice or gruel uh, in moi, the kettle at night time, so that uh, Anka would not know. Sans que le sache le soir. Lorsque je gardais le bétail. Merci, Madame la Partie civile. Vous nous avez indiqué Thank tout you, à l'heure que vous avez fait ago, la liste des tâches que vous avez accomplies à partir du moment où vous êtes arrivé à Tramcock. Vous avez repiqué le riz, ramassé des excréments et, euh, dernière tâche, creuser des canaux. And the last task was Je voulais que vous nous expliquiez canals. un petit peu plus cette dernière tâche. Can you please euh, à quel moment to us et, et où avez-vous participé consisted, consisted euh, in when au fait de creuser des canaux did you have to dig canals? Answer. Réponse. It was from 1976 until dry season of 1977. 1977 after harvest, I would be required to go to dig canal near the embankment in the rural area. And I uh, was required to build, uh, you know, the uh, big embankment to be the roads so that we could uh, reach at the hat work. I was asked to dig canal uh, for a period of uh, 15 days. And at that time, I met 
some leaders of Khmer Rouge, that is the leaders of uh, democratic Cambodia, when I was asked to dig a canal, canal in 1977, I uh, was uh, walking and could see uh, four of them, including Tamok. At that time, they were talking to uh, the uh, worker that we need to attack uh, our work so that uh, we could uh, got water to farm on the west of the rear road. So we need to attack uh, in our work so we could reach to a prosperous on nous a dit de travailler d'arrache pied pour future and having uh, un rice prospère. to eat and after that we would need we would have uh, energy à manger pour que tout le monde ait suffisamment d'énergie à l'avenir later uh, after digging uh, the canal and after God, after uh, having good harvest, uh, we would not also get uh, enough rice to eat. Three of my colleagues, three of my peers, disappeared because uh, they complained that uh, they did not have enough to eat. And uh, my uh, three peers, uh, they complained that they could not have enough food. So, and then after that, uh, they uh, were they disappeared. Ne pas avoir mangé suffisamment et par la suite, elles ont disparu. Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. Être bien sûr d'avoir compris la la chronologie des événements que vous venez de décrire. Vous nous avez indiqué que vous êtes arrivé, que vous avez commencé à construire ce canal, participé au à la construction de digues et de remblais en 1977. Est-ce que vous avez indiqué avoir vu sur ce site un certain nombre de dirigeants Khmer Rouge Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de l'époque à peu près où you vous avez vu ces personnes At what time precisely, at what period precisely you saw those persons Answer, I saw them in 1977. I do not recall the month the exact month, whether it was in February, it was in March, uh, April, or May, it was a long time ago. The three leaders, they were in car. They stopped at the headwork in Kuljambak area, and they were looking at us carrying earth. The commune uh, committees and uh, head of the units were with them. A few days later, three of my peers disappeared. President, thank you. It is now convenient time for break. Nous allons à présent From pause. now until 1.30 in the afternoon so that we can resume our hearing. Court officer, you are instructed to facilitate a proper place for civil party during the break time and have her return before the bench enter the courtroom. Security personnel, you are instructed to bring Mr. Kirsten to the holding cell downstairs and have him back before 1.30 p.m. The court is now adjourned.